Okay, Revolution episode three, quick review. This is no quarter. Um, first off, we got the Rebels. Uh, we find out they're hiding out in a restaurant. And uh, good old Jacob from Lost, you know, it's got to be good to be a buddy of J.J. Abrams because it just seems like he gets into being all his other shows or whatnot. Well, anyway, um, we find out we're going to see this guy again. Um Long story short, they're trying to get the Rebels to get a sniper rifle. Yabba dabba do. Uh, they try to tunnel out, then they make a deal. We find out some interesting stuff that, uh, you know, Miles is not just a, a killing machine, but uh, he basically started the militia. And you really see how it happened, pretty much. Um, you know, these two bad people, you know, were just killing people. And uh, he just said, "Nobody's. there's no cops coming, there's nobody else coming. And he says, that's, that's where the, the switch is flipped. Okay, and then you see that the guy that he saves is Jacob, you know, from, from Lost. Okay, before the island. That's a different story. But um, it, I don't know if they actually said his character's name in this. It'd be funny if it actually was Jacob. Because there's already a Miles, there was a Miles. And Charlie, there was a Charlie. Um... I guess J.J. Abrams just likes names and likes to have them repeated. Okay, uh, Grace was nowhere to be found. Um, that was probably, I said that that was probably going to happen. Um, I didn't think they would trash the whole uh, computer stuff, but uh, the power devices must work on some sort of recharging element sort of thing. Okay, because uh, he put it on some TV or something, and then you know the the radio worked with the headphones as well as the iPad uh, iPhone, where uh, you know what's her face, the British girl said, uh, she got to see her pictures of her kids, and that's why she hangs onto it for all the time. Um, I think Randall is following somebody. Okay, Randall is around. Okay, and uh, we find out next week that uh, Miles and Charlie and all them, they find, you know, Grace's house. And we're going to see, I don't think he's going to tell Miles that, uh, hey, they got power stuff. But um, we're going to get more and more of these power things, and I bet you they, you know, are able to power something up really big. They're probably like... Uh, you know, multiplying in effect. I bet you that's what will happen. Like, if you get two of them together, um, instead of just two devices, I bet you could power the entire house. I'm, I'm thinking it's a spherical type uh, exponential growth. And um, I bet you that's what could happen. And to think of it, if you get a whole bunch of them in one spot, then you could have power for the whole United States, most likely. Um, that might take two or three or four years if they want to go that way. Obviously, it's going to take a while because, you know, <laughs> it won't just be like, this show won't just be about, like, getting the power back on. It'll be like, what happens after the people have the power? Um, you know, what happens to the militia? There's a lot of things that can happen, but uh, short term, Danny is starting to... Uh, he's gonna become a bad guy, I think, or just be indoctrined into the, you know, the Monroe Republic, get it, Monroe Doctrine, <laughs> but, um, you know, I think that, uh, we're gonna find multiple things, like, uh, multiple little power sources, um, that will work better, and as soon as they find out ways to create more of them, okay, uh, then that's going to be pretty cool. But anyway, that's great for now. What do you think is going to happen? Peace out. Bye.